Hi everyone. In the video for this week, I wanted to demonstrate how to find and cite sources using the Cabrillo Library databases, and this should be super helpful for your assignment for this week. So I'm at the library website, and I'm going to scroll down and click Articles and Databases. And from here, I'm going to try a couple of the popular databases. One is Academic Search Complete. So if I click Academic Search Complete, this will open up a search box for me where I can enter my research topic. And again, try a bunch of different keywords here to see what kinds of results that you get because your keywords impact your search results. So let's see, the way this database works is it gives me results in the main screen and it gives me options on the left-hand side to limit to um, peer-reviewed articles by date, lots of different possibilities here. And then to explore an article, I can click right on the title. From here, it gives me options to view the full text of the article, as well as a description of the article and tools along the right hand side, including the option to cite the article. That gives me an MLA citation that I can copy and paste into my works cited list. And this citation looks great. So uh, let's look at another database to compare. If I scroll down and go to Opposing Viewpoints, this database focuses on controversial issues. And here it looks a little different. I can start typing my uh, topic and it's going to su suggest topics for me. I'm going to click on their suggestion for college tuition and student loans. This gives me an overview of the issue as well as a variety of different source types to choose from. And it's kind of a different presentation here, which you might find helpful. So there are viewpoint articles, which are um, actually people taking a side and expressing their view on the issue. There's journals, infographics, statistics, all kinds of different sources that might be useful. And if you scroll down, you can start seeing the articles come up here. Um, so let's say I'm interested in this viewpoint article arguing that student loans suck. Let me see if I click on that. It will open up the full text of the article with lots of options here, tools to explore. It suggests other similar articles. And up at the top, there is an option to cite this article. If I click cite, again, it pulls up first the MLA citation, which I can copy and paste into my works cited list. All right, so that's just a couple tips. Good luck.